Welcome to Ask Jesse Neeland. Today I have a question uh, from a man. He writes, I have struggled with body image since I was young, growing up in a religious house where body was the site of sex and so de-emphasized. Till I was much older, I used to find myself ugly. It was only around the age of 24 that I began to think I must be good looking because of the affection of my then girlfriend. I was fit, had great skin, I started grooming better, um, started appreciating my body, I also received compliments on my looks which made me feel great. Now there are days that I feel like I'm not so attractive still, and other days that I feel gorgeous. Media messages for men only portray white men with certain features as attractive. And as a South Asian guy, I do not feel adequately attractive and previously had internalized negative messages around my look. My question is, how can a man feel better about his body and be more loving of his physical self? I A. Sorry, initials. So the amount of emails that I get from men would probably surprise a lot of people. I get so many messages from men who are either thanking me for the work that I do, uh, telling me that they resonate with the things that I've written, or asking if there are resources that are specifically for them, but in the area of the topic that I'm constantly talking about, which of course is body image and confidence, um, and learning to accept all the different parts of you, the light and the darkness, uh, both. So I wanted to address a man's question for this reason. Because I work with women only because I'm a woman and I have a lot of experience in the blocks that we put up for ourselves and the messages that society puts on us that create a lot of those blocks that we create our blocks in response to. But body image is not a woman's issue. And I wouldn't even say that insecurity or lack of confidence or lack of self-love are women's issues. These are human issues because all of us are taught to reject certain parts of ourselves. It just so happens that it's easier for me to get my message out to women knowing that I can easily speak to what the message is for so many of us that we've been receiving in a billion ways, you know, since we were little. And, and I can't do the same for men. I just, I don't have the experience of what it must be like to, um, to be expected to be strong, for example, and not cry and to be treated, um, you know, like the provider or whatever things men have to deal with that they create their blocks around that they feel insecure about that they have to overcome. I don't, I can't speak to them, but I know that they're there. And it doesn't really matter what exactly creates the lack of self-love because ultimately we all have this problem and the problem is human and it's that it is so difficult to accept who we are 100%. And until we do that, nobody's happy, man or woman or in between. There's nobody's going to be able to feel the way that we're meant to feel until they find a way to accept themselves truly. Like just accept and then love, because I think acceptance has to come first. Acceptance says, this is true. Love says, and I love it. Those are two different things, but I, I often use them interchangeably. Anyway, the reason that I'm saying all this um, is that I don't have the answer for how a man can feel better about himself any more than I do for a woman. I know that it's just as complex. It is definitely just as important. And it's going to include probably an equal amount of deep diving and digging into where those messages come from. Like who told you, and I don't mean told you, you know, but like where did the messages come from that white men are more attractive or like the only men who are attractive are white men with certain facial features? Well, we all know that that's kind of like around in the media and, uh, Hollywood and you know like we kind of know that but where did it really come from for you what where did it l like lodge itself in its brain for you who was close to you in your life who maybe believed that and if none of those things are true then why do you believe it because some part of you must believe it or else you would never struggle in that particular area um, and the same goes for the strength like if you don't feel strong enough if you don't feel masculine or um, you know physically adequate for what we think of as like male beauty the same way that for women's beauty it's kind of supposed to be like perfectly toned and leaned no fat 
not too thin though, not scary, like just definitely like the, you know, we kind of think this conglomeration of like perfect beauty for a woman. Well, there's an equal thing for men. And depending on what influenced you, you're going to think of what that is and compare yourself against it. So now we've got all these same mental patterns coming up for men as they come up for women, like comparing yourself um, and allowing the messaging of, uh, of there being like a finite amount of beauty or like one right way to look or one right way to embody your gender even um, as though men should look like something the way that women should look like something and that's just not true. So I wish that I had an answer that was super simple. I wish that there were men doing this work. If you are a man doing this work, watching this video, please message me because I, I want a, a male counterpart in the world of self-image, body image, self-acceptance, and self-love. Like the, This is my passion, and I just happen to be uh, deeply invested in the, in the actual blocks um, of women, but it is just as complex, just as important for a man to find ways of loving and accepting the body that he was born in and the life that he has, and then creating the kind of life that he wants out of that, using that self-love, fueling him forward, and and being able to make choices that are proactive instead of reactive, that are empowered instead of disempowered. Um, so these things, I my answer is that I wish I had a clean and clear answer for you, but I don't. Um, the best thing I can say is that it will take a lot of deep inner work. If you don't do that deep inner work, you're always just sitting with those messages that, that society has given you. Um, and it won't it won't feel good. It won't be as fulfilling ever if you don't go in and be like, mm, which one of these messages are mine? What do I choose to believe? What do I want to believe? What's important to me? Who am I? Um, so go inward. I love journaling. It's like probably one of the best ways that I've found um, for a lot of my clients to give words, to give specific and vivid language to their experience. Um, because so often we are just sort of taught like, nebulous concepts don't worry about it too much you know uh feeling feeling like asking for help or wanting to like reach out to somebody can be really complicated when you don't have the the exact language for what you want to say and so a lot of our self-image is based on nebulous concepts and so nailing them down with specific and vivid language is probably the best tool that i know of um to create the kind of change to create the kind of mm, transformation toward self-love that that most people are looking for most of my clients are looking for um, and also just know that if you have days that you can feel gorgeous like you're on the right path if you have no days where you feel gorgeous then you're starting way back here and it's just going to be chipping away and trying to find a place where you're like mm, that made me feel beautiful that made me feel lovable and worthy so if you're already having some of those days and some days you're not I would look at what's going on for you emotionally on the days that you're not. Like, what's happening in your head and heart on the days that you look in the mirror and go, fuck that. Like, I wish I looked totally different. If that's happening occasionally, probably it's being led by something else, something deeper. So start going inward on the days that you don't feel beautiful or worthy. And ask yourself, is there messaging? And then what am I saying to myself? Like what's really happening for me that's creating uh, an environment in which I'm dissatisfied with my body? Because more often than not, if you can give that language and you can forgive yourself enough, you can have compassion around the topic enough, you can see that other stuff's going on. Like maybe you feel rejected by an intimate partner um, in a, in a subtle way, you know, it's never going to be the overt thing or you would just handle it with your conscious mind. It's usually stuff that's been kind of like put under the rug a little bit. Um, maybe you feel stressed or afraid of an upcoming conversation that you have to have or an upcoming event or an upcoming anything. Um, these are areas that you need to be giving language to and looking at with compassion for yourself so that you can start to say, huh, Every time I'm afraid of failing this person in my life or a type of person in my life, I have like a body image attack. You know, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, this is gross. So start to pull those patterns together for yourself. Um, other than that, just know that it's deep work and that I wish I had a better reference for you for, um, for male body image because the truth is it needs to be done. It needs to be talked about. And if 
you are listening and you are a man and you have insight in this area, please message me or comment or do whatever you can. Write a blog post about it and tag me because I want this conversation to be happening with men because it is such a disservice to men that it is kind of touted as like a women's issue. So I want to make it super clear that it is not a women's issue. Body confidence, body love, body acceptance, self-love, self-acceptance, these are not women's issues. These are human issues. The only reason I work with women specifically is because I find it easier to be really good at dealing with the niche problems and obstacles that we've had to block ourselves around. That's it. Not because it's more important, not because it's um, even more complex. It just is just where my gifts are best um, serving right now. But as men, please be doing this work. Please be using your language skills. Get specific about what exactly this work even means to you and why and and why it matters that you love yourself and what's holding you from doing that, what's blocking it. Um, I hope this helps. Please leave me a message if you um, see this. And I'd love to hear more and I'd love to get a conversation going if at all possible. So good luck.